so it is not news that asha Kesh's album drops on friday yeah the lungu boy album is set to drop on friday and asha Kesh shocked the world with a crazy amazing interesting lineup of features nobody absolutely nobody saw that coming we want to say that is a very smart move congratulations to ashake mr money with the vibe but before we delve into all that this is gusto tv news and gusto tv africa we want to say a very big thank you to you yes you for doing the most thank you for your likes thank you for your comments thank you for sharing thank you for subscribing and telling everybody about what we do here on gusto tv africa now the most interesting piece of the part is how ashake has actually really 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 strategically placed this album to actually succeed first off hold on calm down the only one big afrobeat artist to have made the album is whiskey of course and he actually sets the tone for the album he's the first person i mean the number one track list mms whiskey actually is on that one this is actually a very very freaking smart move because afrobeats will never actually even set sail without mentioning whiskey's name and of course everybody understands the whiz effect and this is no this is no cap because everything that whiskey does and every feature that he jumps on is already a hit there is no denying that fact so congratulations to asha Kef for actually being so smart to actually jump on that one remember shake has actually very 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 well tried to bait whiskey to be on this project and we can now say that he gets his wish finally that is actually a very 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 big 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 move i want to say congratulations but that's not the only smart move remember Ashake has actually done a lot of features and the way that he strategically places his features is something that needs to be studied. Now he has Central C and Stormzy on his project, which obviously Central C has been on that wave. And of course, um, that song has actually done a lot of numbers. It's been banging, still banging. And then you have someone like Stormzy, who is actually predominantly one of the biggest stars in the UK. And people are saying this is actually some crazy move because right now, Ashake is trying to solidify his presence in the UK market and this is no this is no denying because everywhere that Ashake turns in the UK people actually troop trooping to actually you know follow him and follow his music this is actually interesting and with the mix of the Central Sea and Stormzy energy that is actually going to go bonkers this is a smart 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 move that is not only the smart move that ashake has actually pulled up on this album ashake has wait for it travis scott on that album and one person that has actually carried the matter on his head right now has been travis scott there have been videos of him online you know vibing to that song already he's actually premiered it already and people are already going crazy now if you have someone like travis scott to actually be on your project and to also carry it on his head the way that he's doing right now know that you're actually set for success because travis scott has a huge huge fan base and remember all his concerts are always packed and sold out and you know we can't wait for that travis scott and asha Kett to be on stage you know performing the song together in front of millions and millions of people all over the world congratulations to ashake this is one thing that ashake has done to actually even just tap in into the u.s market the u.s energy you know some kind of presence with with the collaborative effort of travis scott let's already start sending our congratulations to ashake and that's not the only strategic move on the album we have lord miller who is one of the biggest 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 stars in the latino space lord miller is obviously one of the biggest stars in, in latin america and ashake has actually found a way to get her on his project that is crazy everyone is super excited for this project we cannot wait for it to drop on friday a lot of people are already saying guy this project has to drop already we can't actually wait it's tuesday right now here in central africa and then a lot of people are saying can we push the date forward and get this album to drop already congratulations to ashake on that we cannot wait for the features of whiskey mms we cannot wait for travis scott we cannot wait for central of course we had central c and we cannot wait to hear what it sounds like to be on a record with stormzy and of course lord miller well please say your congratulations and tell us in the comment section which of the songs you are hoping to i mean you're looking forward to you know enjoying 
um, just let us know in the comment section. I will be right there to reply every of your comment. Now, one person that has actually been doing so well is Arya Star. Yesterday, Arya Star actually, you know, collided or just had a fun time with Rihanna. That is huge. And want to say very big congratulations to Arya Star for surpassing 500 million streams on Spotify on her recent sophomore album, The Year I Turned 21. Now, there have been a lot of conversations around that album. A lot of people have been saying, oh, that album is not doing so well. But, you know, other people are saying, listen, that album is picking. That album is, is actually doing numbers. And of course, yes, it might not be all up in your face the way it's supposed to be because right now the market is dictating a lot of things and there have been a lot of heavyweights dropping new music. But for a female Afrobeat artist who has actually penetrated a lot of spaces, it is actually a huge feat to cross over 500 million streams. I want to say congratulations to Arista. That's not the only good thing about her. That's not the only thing happening around her. She was seen in a carnival with Rihanna. Do you know what that is? Rihanna is absolutely one of the biggest female superstars in the world. And for her to have that energy, to be able to connect, to be on the same space, to be in the same space, i beg your pardon to be in the same space vibing and enjoying the carnival with rihanna is such a such a huge 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 thing are we expecting a rihanna and an r star album is it, is it too much to ask for maybe a collaboration maybe just maybe and we cannot wait to see how that one's going to pan out now moving on we have burner boy on the news and today marks six years since burner boy dropped the national anthem yay remember when that anthem dropped when that song dropped it took over the world everybody was vibing to that song that song became the national anthem of the world we had celebrities from all over the world actually bop into that one even yay himself Congratulations to Burner Boy Odogo. Odogo has gone, you know, since that time to become one of Africa's heavyweight Afrobeat superstars. And there's nobody in the world who does not know the Burner Boy name everywhere he goes and everywhere he's mentioned, everywhere he's been selling out shows and shutting down stadiums and doing so many, many incredible things. Um, we just want to say a very big congratulations to Burner Boy. We know that he's, you know, he's set to drop a project. We know the album is definitely going to drop. We're waiting for that one. Fingers crossed. He's actually premiered, you know, empty chairs off that album, you know. And a lot of fans are asking, when are we actually going to get this album? Are you not going to do this thing quick already now? Is he going to move the album date for that since Ashake has just actually dropped? We know that every time that Ashake drops a project, it always goes crazy. Now, it is interesting to know that Burner Boy has actually said he's going to drop the album, you know, about two weeks ago. And of course, we got deceived. There was an April Fool in July. But then we move on. We forgive him. You know, no signs of weakness. It's definitely going to drop. And we're waiting for that. When it's going to drop, we don't know yet. But trust me, when we get the official date, we'll be right here to actually give you all the scoop as regards the album and everything that it contains. Well, congratulations to Burner Boy on six years of yay, 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 yay. That's one big tune that came out of Burner Boy's dynasty. And that tune has set the tone for his greatness all over the world and actually being grammy nominated several times also winning grammys congratulations to burner boy moving on if there's one person that has been dubbed the godfather of afrobeat it has to be olamide bado and a lot of people have had good things to say about him how he has been able to carry young artists just you know carry people from maybe some sort of obscurity to the limelight this is one thing that bado does and he does it effortlessly one person that has come up to actually you know say good things about bado is terry akbala who has you know on x just tweeted that you know him and bado are actually whipping up some really really good music in the studio and we cannot actually wait to know or hear what that sounds like congratulations to terry akbala and thank you so much bado for doing the most for everybody around the afrobeats for the youngins as well and for everybody that you've done good things for we're gonna say a really 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 big thank you and we cannot wait for you know that collaboration to drop thank you so much bado and i mean we're all here for all the scoop it's gonna be really 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 very very packed weekend there's been a lot of conversations around different different artists dropping different songs but one of the biggest conversation has to be ashake dropping the lungu boy album 
let us know what you think about that album what are your expectations of that album do you think that david o missing on that album is something that really really hurt the fans or maybe all of me they on fire but the ml missing out and what do you think about ashake's strategic positioning of his album with the features of whiskey central c stormzy um travis scott and lord miller let us know what you think in the comment section and we'll be right here to reply all your comments have a great day Thank you.